I pushed myself off the couch and I said, okay, I gotta do this. I literally said that out loud. <laughs> like, telling myself, get up, you need to do this, let's do it. Good morning, guys. Hey, Ollie, you wanna say good morning? I love that bandana you got on. Is that your bonesy bandana? <laughs> we are just getting rolling on the day. Um, I had some business stuff to attend to this morning and then edited the vlog. You know, routine, daily life stuff. And now, Mary, Mary's waving lettuce? What is that? Oh, it's fiddly fig. Our... Man, that plant is not happy, and we aren't quite sure why. It keeps losing leaves. Wait, she had moved it. It was pretty happy here, and she had moved it here and noticed that it was losing some leaves. She moved it back, and it lost a couple more. But, I mean, the leaves that are going look pretty good right now. I don't know. If you have any tips for fiddly figs, let us know. Um, but we, we do like that. We got it for, I think, was it $10? Sam's Club. Amazing. Ollie boy, what do you have to say? What's on the docket today? Are Mary and I going to go to the produce market? Yeah, we're going to go there. We'll get you some fruit. Not that it's for you, but I don't know. Mary and I, Mary said, we have like no fruit, so I think we're gonna go to the produce market, get some fruit, I'm gonna go find a hat for all this hair, and yeah, welcome to our day, guys. And just like that, we are back with a lot of produce. Isn't that thing heavy? That was heavier than I thought. <laughs> all right, our free items were a uh, thing of blackberries and cilantro. They always give cilantro for free. Well, the last two times we've been there. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing more than that. Okay, are you ready? Woo! Yes, show us all we got in our $20 bag. Okay. We got turnips, I think. We have ginger. There's more ginger in there somewhere. We have lots of plums. They're delicious and ripe. We have two tomatoes, avocados, grapes, South Carolina fresh peaches. Uh, sweet potato, potatoes, do you like potatoes, and more potatoes, we have another plum, another peach, another plum, I feel like this is like one of those like magic thing hats where they keep pulling stuff out, we have some hot peppers, we have corn on the cob. One, two, and three. We have another potato. We have another avocado. Another avocado. What else do we have in that bag? More hot peppers. That could go for a green bean. Oh, that would be, be a mean trick. Terrible. And we have more plums. Oh yeah. Ah. More ginger. I'm going to juice some of the ginger for my kombucha. And we have more hot peppers. And? Some pecans. That grow on their property. Yeah. And so there it that is. is all. There's our little farm stand Whoa. hall. What do you want to eat now? Um, I'm going to have a plum. Okay, I'll wash them. Look at that. Mary discovered that that little basket would work as a colander. It's a great idea. I'll go ahead and wash the grapes, too. Oh, yeah. And throw them on the floor, too. I'll just throw them anyway. <laughs> what are you eating? A pretzel. Oh. <laughs> Alright, guys. My first batch of kombucha. I'm going to taste it. They say to stick a straw in it. Yeah, that's good. I think... I think... Have Actually, you, it's not as vinegary as I thought. I wonder if I should let it go a couple more days. Have you ever had unflavored kombucha? I don't know. I might go in and bottle this. Why not? 
So maybe we should go ahead and yeah. juice the ginger for it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's try it. So fun. And if, and if it's like not as done, next time I'll make it go longer. Cool. So how many days? Um, you have it written, right? So it was 628, which today's Wednesday. The 8th. So today's 10 days, which oh, cool. I think was <gasps> Hi, buddy. kind of the aim. Harry! Okay, so should we juice the ginger first or bottle it or what? Um, well, let's go and juice the ginger. That's crazy. Oh, I should put the flavor in. The what? Flavor in. Oh, okay. I was gonna do that first. So can you can probably still use the funnel. Okay. Oh yeah, and you can use that little brown bottle. I don't know, that might be enough. So, do you wanna give kind of a basic overview of what kombucha is? It's fermented tea. So this is just tea and sugar that has a SCOBY, which is a symbiotic yeast and bacteria culture. And then we put it in the bottle. I'm flavoring it with ginger. And we'll let it ferment a little bit longer in the bottle to carbonate it. And then it'll be ready. Yeah, I would, that's probably, that's probably enough. Good. Yeah. This was a pink lemonade, sparkling pink lemonade bottle. We got it all the a long time ago, but it's perfect for this. Mm -hmm. Do you think you should go ahead and taste it and taste uh, for the ginger? I think, I think I'll put a little more in. Okay. Unless I could taste it. Oh yeah. I think that'll be good. Okay, cool. All right, Peter has been working on making his next batch of kombucha. I just got starving hungry, so I'm gonna have some leftover salmon, rice, and Brussels sprouts, and some little tomatoes. Are you hungry? I don't um, know why I'm, I'm not, so hungry. I'm not hungry yet, but yeah, you you didn't eat a lot of lunch, I don't think. Anyways, Gosh. I was able to make six bottles of kombucha, and I tried different varying amounts of ginger in it, so we'll see. This is an experimenting process. So I've got my second batch of kombucha tea brewing. So I do a gallon of tea, green and black, and a cup of sugar. And then I saved two cups of the fermented tea from last time, plus the scoby in there. Put it all together, let it ferment for another 10 days. And if this works out, Man, this is going to save us a lot of money. Because kombucha, man, it's expensive. Isn't that right, Harry? That's right. So your dinner smells interesting. It's dinner time for everybody. Is that good, Harry? Is that good, Ollie? And then after... Ollie finishes his dinner. He stands and watches Harry finish his because Ollie wants to see if there's any leftovers. <laughs> I am feeling so exhausted and I need to fill up my cobbler. I need to do sub QIG and I was just on the couch with Harry and he was so adorable. But he got up and then I pushed myself off the couch and I said, okay, I gotta do this. I literally said that out loud, <laughs> like telling myself, get up, you need to do this, let's do it. Mary is filling up her cobblers. Triple tasking it. Triple tasking it? Because, Tell me what you're up to. Well, a few weeks ago, I kind of like took the camera with me as I went about my Wednesday. Mm -hmm. It happened to be a Wednesday and I realized after I filmed 
I was like, oh wow, Wednesday is a really medical heavy day for me. Yeah. And so what I thought of in that video was, well, actually afterward, I was like, well, I was sitting doing sub QIG and I also needed to fill my tumbler. So next time I should do it at the same time. So it's- I remember you said on. that, yeah. So last week and this week, I've done it, I believe, while I'm doing sub Q. So I'm hooked up to sub Q. I've been doing it in my like inner thigh. That's a winner? Me, that so far is the best. Have you done it one or two weeks? Two weeks. Nice. So I've got two needles here and one needle here. Perfect. Um, so anyway, that's working great. Good. Um, and then filling my combler, and then my Dexcom ran out, like the session ended. So I did that as well. So th those are my three things I'm doing while I'm doing Amazing. This. I could be hooked up to the vest and do like- Oh, wow. See how many medical things you can do at once. How much medical stuff can you get done within 30 minutes? This takes about an hour and 10 minutes, the sub queue, but mm -hmm. I can get a lot done, man. That's so, true, good work. Making it happen. Guys, one of these days, we're gonna give you a reveal of our bedroom, but I'm trying to keep the frame just on Mary on the bed because we have some like little details that we want to add to the room before we do like a big reveal of, we've basically redone our bedroom and we love it. And one day we're gonna show you guys, but Good work to Mary, getting all the medical stuff done. You just gonna... I was gonna say you should go show him that design you just made. He just made this new design. Mm -hmm. It was something, he does most of the designs. He's the mastermind behind <laughs> almost all the designs in our shop. But every once in a while I'll have an idea. Most of the time it's a bad idea, but every once in a while. So I, like last week, drew out with Sharpie this design I was thinking. It was basically combining a few of my paintings. And um, so I drew it out and the, the drawing idea versus the real is like hysterical. But I will say this, I came home and saw on my desk this drawing that she made. She even cut out little pieces um, and made like a diagram for me. And I knew exactly what she wanted me to design. Because one of the things we've learned as business owners and the process and our process and all of this. Yeah. I've Before I've said to Peter like, oh, what do you think of this idea? If we did a mug with some birds on it and the you put them like this. And yeah. then he spends time and works on the design. And then I come in and I'm like, it's not quite what I was thinking. And that's really frustrating for both of us, especially for him. And so I learned I should really. Yeah. Like, she she gave me exactly what she wanted. She came in tonight. Um, I, I worked on the design while she was downstairs and she came into the working room. And she's like, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> so good job to Mary job for to her, her vision. And I made it happen. Yes. So it will be happening soon. You'll see it soon. But anyway, so that's what our night holds. So I will say good night. As always. As always. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Ollie boy. Sometimes Ollie lays with his head on his doggy and it's adorable.